Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 19th through the 25th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. I'm usually more centered, but uh, I got pushed away. Not that he doesn't have this, this big ass pillow here, but he likes to be here, so. What's that? Chew toy. All right, let's see what's up, Scorpio. Oops. The overall energy for the reading, the Emperor. Definitely uh, stepping into your power more and more. Dude, you made a mess out of this pillow. Um, There's stuff going on around you, but you're keeping it steady. You're keeping it cool, which is a really nice energy to see here. Uh, kind of keeping it steady there. Um, let's see, in the recent past, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Hangman. All right, so there's, um, there's just you working on certain things from the past there. I'm looking at you working on... The more you heal yourself, the more you work on your own traumas here, the more you start to stand in your power here. And it's definitely, all of this experience is definitely teaching you to stand still. You know, no matter what happens, to just stand still, to pause. Uh, which I feel like that's why maybe now, even though a little bit of commotion shows up around you, you're cool. You're standing still. Uh, in the current situation, the strength card, the two of wands, the three of wands. It looks like you're waiting for something. Uh, and it takes a lot of patience for you to wait for something. I don't know exactly what you're waiting for here yet. But it kind of looks like you've been waiting already and now you're waiting some more kind of a situation. So it's just a... It's, it's not the standing still part. This is waiting for something to, to come through. Um, hmm. I don't know what that is. We'll have to clarify and see. In the uh, immediate future, the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, the Five of Wands. Yeah, I mean, there's this energy that's around you, definitely. You find it to be a match, and, and that could be that could apply to pretty much anything. It could be just a very close friendship. It could be just someone next to you here. Um, but there's some conflict going on with it. There's some just not being on the same page kind of energy with that. So... <clears throat> Let's clarify. Let's do the Emperor. Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. It could be a friendship, a very close friendship, or... Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there's a fear of... And it's not about losing it, it's about whatever's happening within it, it gives you a sense of uh, it could be kind of, you know, falling apart a little bit or it, there's a little bit of worry there on your side in terms of the situation and because it does seem like something that's slowly but surely possibly fading away from your life though and I, I kind of get the sense that it's a it's a pretty stable energy so far, or it's been a pretty stable energy so far, but I don't see you putting in a lot of effort, you know, kind of just letting it play, play out, basically. Um, <clears throat> could be more than a friendship, but for now you're kind of pointing it, pointing it to me as um, <clears throat> a friendship. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles in the recent past. The Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups. All right. So there's you doing you and growing and stepping into your power there. But there's a connection attached to you. Especially attached to your desires. Because I see you really wanting to go for it. You know, like, I want to make this happen. Um, 
very passionate about it quite deep in the way that it feels to you but you're in a good position there you know to at least try to make it happen of course it takes two to tango so it's not really only up to you but where are you going there okay uh, let's do the Five of Cups. Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Justice card. Yeah, I mean, the situation has been going through stuff, definitely, with that Five of Cups there. But there's been a lot of healing brought to it, especially on your side. Uh, where I see at least you being pretty balanced at the end of it, you know, with it all. Um, definitely wanting for things to work out. Uh, that's the thing, I don't see the response from the other side, so I don't even know what the hell happened here. I just see where you're at with it. Let's do the hangman. <clears throat> the hermit, the two of wands, the magician. That's the pause. So you started entering this space of waiting. And I feel like you're not necessarily interpreting as waiting, you're not taking it as, oh yeah, you know yeah i'm waiting for something and i feel like it is tied up to that situation that you wanted you're still showing me a sense of independence so that could mean that maybe the shit hit the fan and you know you healed all of everything you needed to heal for yourself and then kind of just okay well i'm not waiting for this in terms of my life is not on hold but you're still showing me a sense of hope beyond everything that maybe things will work out one day so even though you put it on the back burner there you're still kind of looking like you're trying to manifest it and there's nothing going on on your side in terms of action towards it by the looks of it it's just an action of waiting you know uh let's do the strength card <clears throat> the world the four of pentacles the eight of swords there's a lot of stubbornness too on your side with this one where I feel like, you know, sometimes you catch yourself waiting there and you're like, ah, I don't want to do this, you know, why the hell am I still kind of caught up in this? And, uh, and that's when the overthinking starts and when the overthinking takes over, you kind of fall out of that very healing, peaceful, grounded place. You know, you, you kind of create a little bit of a tornado, a mini tornado there for you. To deal with. Uh, let's do the two of wands. The four of wands, the queen of swords, the eight of cups. I mean, there's a sense of commitment you're looking at here while you wait. Um, man, it almost feels like nostalgic because you're also showing me a sense of I'm not where I used to be with this one, you know, it doesn't have the same emotional charge, almost any charge at all to it, but I'm still kind of hopefully, hopeful and nostalgic about it, you know what I mean, so it's, even though you're kind of waiting for some sort of a commitment there, <clears throat> you're showing me the reality of it, and the reality of it says, I don't care for it anymore, you know, so... Very interesting. Let's do the Three of Wands. The King of Swords, the High Priestess, the Hangman. Yeah, you, you do know. You do know that a little part of you there in the background just is, is kind of sitting and hoping and waiting. You know, very, very small part of you that's not affecting your life and you know whatsoever it's like you're doing your own thing but somewhere in the background there there's this kind of like a foggy hope um for it all which places you on hold you know to some extent not again not that your life is on hold but that little part of you is let's do the queen of swords in the um, immediate future, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Interesting, because you've gained like a rough exterior to yourself, you know, like uh, almost like you're being perceived as um, not caring, not functioning from your heart. Um, 
from the outside you could be perceived as that because you're, you're functioning a lot with this queen of swords that you could keep on bringing in bringing in and i feel like you're softening up because there's i mean there's definitely a change of scenario here a change of energies with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups where things are looking more grounded more balanced more loving um you're, you still may be perceived as, you know, Scorpio doesn't give a shit, but um, you're definitely softening up, you know, there, there's a softening to you there, because um, you're reaching for that place of love and stability within yourself, so that kind of comes out, and you're definitely starting to pursue that, um, <clears throat> whatever that means to you. Let's do the King of Cups. Well, Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. There's another energy attached to you here. I'm not sure who they are to you. There's definitely, a, you know, like almost perfect resonance between the two of you. Um, but there's some conflict. And as this conflict kind of passes through, think of it as an energy that passes through. Because that's exactly what it is. Because the way you approach it is one day at a time. And then I see things being able to be handled um as long as this approach stays like this you know take it easy be patient through this energy that's just passing through um and let's do the five of wands let's see what it is though. queen of pentacles ace of swords seven of swords i mean whoever this is that you're dealing with um they definitely want the same thing like you do, uh, the approaches are different, you know, your takes on things are different, that's why you may think we're not on the same page, or that's why the, the, the conflict may be here. Um, <clears throat> the only difference between the two of you is that they may have the tendency to uh, put in effort, but then rest for a very long time, almost like, yeah, not rest, I feel like they're maybe complicit maybe they're um uh, uh maybe they think that once they fire that baby up it's just gonna keep on firing up like they no they don't need to add wood anymore on it you know um i don't see them as being lazy or anything it's just kind of the way they function maybe in that way of once it's started it's gonna keep going forgetting that they need to add some fuel to it you know to keep it going um that's the only difference here so maybe that'll contribute to that conflict there other than that your goals and your desires look pretty much the same you're just coming at them from different angles uh which is not that different it's a little bit different let me see what the universe has it off the nine of wands the two of pentacles the page of swords so this partnership that's shown up in the beginning because it looks like the universe wants to, to close off with that which could even be this one that shows up here um could even be the same situation from the past who knows but uh, this partnership here, I feel like when it becomes too much, you have the tendency to not give a lot. Um, it's kind of like your way of protecting yourself, you know, in terms of, you know what, this is getting to the point of I'm so close to just say fuck it all and just leave it all behind. And that that's kind of like your mechanism of dealing with this. And it's not necessarily um it's not necessarily a good one it's not necessarily a bad one you know it's just your way of dealing with this but this in itself what triggers you to pull back and to not give as much um this should possibly be something to look at because i feel like it brings up some fear for you in there and a sense of rejection over dealing with things you know when when things get rough there's that sense of 
I don't want to deal with it, you know, which is kind of like a human trait, but a lot of the times maybe we should stop and ask why, you know, what, what's, what's in there that's triggering me in this one, you know, so I don't know, but overall it looks pretty good. There's been a lot of healing done on your part that I know you can handle this one. This is, you know, this is a piece of cake for you. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.